Well, Clinton, welcome to Reading Football Club. Are you pleased to get the deal done and over the line? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm happy to finally get over the line. It's been a bit of a long process, but I'm glad that it's done now. I was going to say, because it's technically it's a deadline day signing, but I gather you've been chatting to people here for a little bit longer than that? Yeah, yeah, so I've been in talks with the club for about a week, actually, or so a bit longer. So I'm kind of just glad that everything's sealed and I'm happy to be here. Absolutely. And what did people, who did you speak to? What did they have to say to you? So I've had a few conversations with Mark. I've spoken to the gaffer as well. So I've had a few words with them. And when I heard about the interest and stuff, it was really important for them to especially outline the project and the direction the club wants to go in. So once I heard about all of that, it was the right decision for me at this time. And obviously you're joining after spending sort of three and a half years on the books in Germany with Stuttgart. How was that experience? You know, you're obviously moving abroad as a young man. Presumably you kind of had a lot to, you know, a lot of development when you were there, really. Yeah, I moved out there um, as a young boy. So I've been out there for about three years now, which is a good experience, a good learning curve as well for me as a person and a player. So I think some valuable things to take from my time in Stuttgart, definitely. Definitely a brave step, you know, you don't get many, I mean, you see a few more recently, but not many guys from England kind of go abroad. I mean, that was a, yeah, as you said, a brave step in, in a way. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It was a big challenge for me as well, but it was something that I was interested in and I'm glad that I took as well, getting the experience over in Germany in the Bundesliga as well, which is a good league. So I'm glad that I took this opportunity as well. And obviously you spent last season on loan back in England, but what was it like being back in England and playing some sort of championship football? Yeah, it was good to be back in the country after some time out. And obviously, you know, championship is an is a established level in the country. So it was good to get a few games there and stuff, which obviously I've had a few injuries as well that kind of stifled the, the progression there as well. But it was a good experience being at Blackburn as well. Obviously, you're kind of coming a little bit closer to home now. You're a London boy originally and stuff. Is that one of the sort of part of the motivation to come to Reading, a little bit closer to home as well, or but also the football, I guess? Yeah, not not entirely, but definitely it's good to be back closer to home, be closer to family and in familiar surroundings again. But definitely, most importantly, when I heard the interest of Reading, it's an established club. I'm very well aware of the club. I think that was a big factor as well. And you say familiar surroundings, probably some maybe familiarity, hopefully, with the team. Do you know some of the boys here or played against them, I guess? Um, not too much, really. I, play, I think I probably played uh, against a few of the boys at youth, at youth level. Um, I know Ben Elliott, who was at Chelsea, was at Chelsea together, so I'm pretty familiar with him. So but I'll be looking forward to meeting all the lads anyways. And tell us a little bit about your style then. You're a full-back, but obviously that can come in various guises. What's, what, what do you like to, how do you like to play the game? Yeah, so I'll say I'm, I'm a full-back. I'm a versatile player, which can play in many, in many positions across the pitch. So I'll say I'm someone who is um, confident. I'll say I'm a, a leader as well, and I'm someone that tries to get up and down and help the team as much as possible, who's also good on the ball, comfortable on the ball as well. So this is the things that I'll try to bring to this team this season. And obviously you joined with the season already underway. Hopefully better squeeze in a training session or two before you know, our next game on Monday. Hopefully, you know, looking forward to kind of getting out on the training pitch, taking things on board from the manager, that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm just glad everything's done. So I'm just ready just to get going, just to get on the pitch, get on the pitch with my new teammates and of course see all the fans soon. And yeah, so you're feeling fit and ready to contribute as well? Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm fit, I'm available, I'm ready. And yeah, again, just hopefully I can see the fans soon. Obviously, we've got that one game on Monday and then we've got a bit of a break because the international break. I don't know if for a player that's a good thing or a bad thing because sometimes you want to get straight into games, but sometimes it might be good to have that time with the manager on the training pitch as well. I mean, how do you see it? Yeah, it's a bit of both, actually. It's, um, of course, you want to be playing games, a lot of games, but I feel like this international break can give me time to actually gel within the squad, get to know my new teammates, get familiar with the new surrounding. So it's a bit of a win-win to be honest, yeah. And lastly, obviously, you've touched on it already, but hopefully you're looking forward to meeting the fans, playing in front of, the, playing in front of them and uh, that kind of stuff, um, yeah, and playing for points, right? Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's a, it's a big stadium. It's a nice stadium as well, so I'm definitely looking forward to meeting all the fans out there.